you're finally awake. Now, time is of the essence, so I'll keep it short and sweet. I am the ruler of the underworld, but you may call me Lucy. Humans normally wouldn't do my tasks, but you know what? I am rather tired of chasing demons and bringing them down here, so I made this into a little game. For what? Just so they can escape again? I needed an outside input on the situation instead of me chasing them. Why not a human? And that is exactly why you're here, Daniel. Four little brats decided it would be a good idea to escape their lovely home just so they can go be free or whatever they do on the surface. I will make you a deal. If you kill all of these four little rascals, I will grant you freedom, money, love, whatever you heart desires. No strings attached. All right. No more delays. Your first adversary is quite generic. It's your run-of-the-mill, oh, I'm a savage demon and I eat people kind of thing. Don't get me wrong. He has a face only a mother could love, but he does have a pretty big weakness, which is up to you to figure out. Last I heard, he was inside this sewer system causing problems. So whatever you do there, the choice is yours. I will check back on your progress soon. of November 2017. After working my shift cleaning the pipes in the sewer, I came across something quite strange. There was a bloody kerchief in one of the pipes. I don't know who it belongs to since no one in my crew can afford something this nice. I should know, I paid them. 22nd of November 2017. It's burning us as soon as we touch it. Everyone thinks it's because of the weird tissue I found before. The water bubbles and spits. We dare not go in for fear of being burned alive. We're putting down support beams to act as bridges. 23rd of November, 2017. Marcus told me today he's got a friend that works in the university science department that could analyze the thing I found and possibly tell us what's up with it. He's currently cutting a part of the kerchief to show his professor friend. of November 2017. Marcus has gone missing. He hasn't shown up for work in three days. No one knows what's happened to him. I swear if I find him drunk in the sewers again, he's gonna get his ass fired. 28th of November 2017. I found him. I found Marcus. He's... changed. It's no longer the Marcus we all knew. He's quiet. He always seems to be staring off somewhere else. He won't look at me. His eyes, it's almost like they're empty. It almost feels like I'm talking to a ghost. 30th of November, 2017. I was right in seeing Marcus changed. He's now doing all sorts of fucked up things instead of working. Upside down crosses and pentacles everywhere. What the actual hell is wrong with this lunatic? He's gotten a lot more aggressive than before as well. He started a fight with his group leader because he called Marcus crazy.
2nd of December, 2017. I now understand what Marcus did in order to become like this. It's simple, really. All you have to do is surrender. And then it will be all over. Your memories, your loved ones, your most prized possessions, everything. Just like that, your life is now forever changed. 4th of December, 2017. It feels amazing. I can sense all sorts of things around me. I can hear the most faint murmur from miles away. And that's when I feel the desire take hold of me. 11th of December, 2017. Oh no, what have I done? This is bad, this is really bad. I've become just like Marcus. I'm a monster. I don't want this. I didn't want any of this. Why did this happen to me? Damn it! It's consuming me. I can feel it in my veins. I can't even write his name. I've been abandoned by... Just waiting for the right moment to strike and end my life and escape this torment forever. Forgive me. Have mercy. Twelfth of December, 2017. After a full week of wondering where the hell Vincent was, he finally decided to come back to work. However, he is different now. He doesn't talk at all. He used to be the most popular guy in our group. I wonder what happened to him. Thirteenth of December, 2017. Oh god. This is bad. This is really bad. Vincent killed someone. I saw him eating the body as he spoke to himself. I couldn't hear what he was saying. 
As soon as I flashed my lighter to get a better look, he screamed at me and ran away. I'm on my way to find Dave and get him out of here. So, how are you enjoying your time in the sewers? Has it been a fun experience so far? I'm surprised to see that you're still alive. Either you truly have the wits necessary to live through this, or you're just luckier than most. Most contestants would have died by now, like that poor sob over there. This dumbass thought it would be a good idea to escape the game. <laughs> Ended up trusting a succubus and dying. I had hopes that you won't do the same mistake. I'm cheering for you after all. I brought you here again because believe it or not, I'm giving you a hint. This demon you're facing off against, he's unique because he's cursed. It's not a normal possession. He needs to eat in order to survive. With that said, they have several weaknesses. The most effective one is... Um, anything to do with water? So if you happen to find a water gun, you're good to go. Pay attention to your surroundings. You've missed a lot of things that could have helped your survival. But hey, you're the player, not me. <laughs> this will be fun. Go get him, tiger.
17th of December, 2017. I have high hopes that we're getting out of here. Well, Dave and I at least. I saw the weird creature going into an exit, towards the boiler room, I think. Rob wants to go after it. We didn't stop him. He's going to get killed, but I couldn't give less of a damn. I'm escaping this hellhole, with or without him. of December, 2017. I've been figuring out various things about it ever since I became possessed. It seems to have a rest period. Every few hours it just sleeps to gather its strength, much like a bear in hibernation. Last time I did this, I was inside a room that looked like a ritual. Me being a demon can make me see a lot of things, but that, that was something else. Ever since that room, it seems to have become unstable, furious. It leads me to think someone messed with it. Marcus. It was about to go upstairs, but I was able to bring myself here. I hope that's enough to save everybody. Please, anyone that hears this tape, be aware. I've become possessed by this monster whose only goal is to eat. I have no control over him. I doubt anyone would be of help to me. So I'm leaving this tape as a warning. Do not make loud noises. And do not go upstairs. I've already killed so many. For safety, I trapped myself down here by changing the door code to 4481. 4481. 